What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? So we have a bit of news here late in the free agency period where uh, we forgot about a player that should be pretty significant. If we can bring him back, it just won't be in the same capacity that we had before. But it could be excellent news, not only for draft purposes, uh, but just for some things that change moving forward. So Laurent Duverney tardif um, I would say is expectedly going to re-sign with the New York Jets at some point. Now, from everything that I've seen, it probably won't happen until after the draft, just to give us, you know, maximum uh, maneuverability. But uh, he did quote even himself at some point during like the Super Bowl run up. He set himself up so that he could return to the New York Jets, meaning he took, uh, meaning that he took care of uh, some of his doctor-related business. Um, you guys know that previously. Um, he took time away from the Chiefs because uh, he's actually a doctor in real life. So he went to go help out during COVID times. Um, that's been settled. You have to imagine as well with him coming back into a starting role uh, with the New York Jets about midseason and performing very well that he has suitors elsewhere as well, especially on playoff uh, needy teams, teams on the rise like the Raiders. Um, so it's excellent news that it still seems like there's mutual interest here. So this helps us out on a number of fronts. Dan Feeney no longer becomes our, our top backup guard in rotation. It becomes Laurent Duverne Tardif. Secondly, we know that the switch happened where uh, we found out Lakin Tomlinson will remain at left guard. Elijah Vera Tucker will be moving to the right side. Not only does this give us a safety net in case the conversion doesn't go uh, as smoothly as we think it will, uh, it also gives AVT a mentor of sorts. Uh, on that side from a, uh, you know, a proven champion. So I'm extremely excited to hear it. I can't wait for the news to officially break whenever that is that we actually get him back in rotation. This also means that we don't have to go out and try to get a guard of the future. Now, Lakin Tomlinson won't be with us forever. Uh, AVT is still on his rookie contract, only heading into a sophomore year, which is excellent. Um, but you can always still, you know, try to look for the improvements, which uh, JD has, you know, uh, signaled as much. This keeps guard off of the plate of all the needs that we have. We can still purely focus on defense as needed. Uh, and then as far as the offensive line, it really means we just need to try to find a center of the future. Um, and then hedge our bet at the tackle position. I know we have Connor McDermott as a backup, which uh, JD has talked up a little bit, um, and Chuma Yudoga as well. But if we're being frank, they're probably not going to be tackles of the future at any point uh, for any team. Um, so, uh, you know, I kind of equated to the, the whole Brian Shell situation we had at some point. A lot of promise, just not enough follow through. Um, so we can purely focus on finding a tackle uh, as insurance in case whatever happens between the, the battle as well as just having a top tackle rotation and then uh, focusing on the center position. So extremely sad to hear about it. And keep in mind, this is a huge win by J.D., no matter if we bring him back or not. Because if you guys remember, we picked up Laurent Duverney Tardif because we traded tight end Daniel Brown, who we almost never used. Um, instead of the Chiefs cutting them, we did a player for player swap, and then the Chiefs end up cutting Brown anyways, just for us to re sign him. So it, it's a huge win, especially since uh, uh, you know, LDT is looking like he wants to come back to us. So I'm all for it. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Um, I'm very excited, by the way. I'll be dropping my uh final mock draft of the season at some point at the latest by Saturday, uh, but I'll keep you guys tuned in. But Peace.